This is the Geekom Mini IT13 Mini Computer, the latest iteration of Geekom's Mini Computer series. Just recently, we covered the Mini IT12, which looks uh, virtually the same, and you can check out the video right here. While the IT12 with the 12650H configuration features a 10 core Elder Lake processor, this one is equipped with the Raptor Lake chipset, offering up to 14 cores with the i9-13900H configuration. But in this case, we have the i7-13700H processor in here. So in terms of power, they should be quite equal with the edge going to the IT13, of course. Same form factor, super small, insane power, 32 gigs of RAM, two terabytes SSD, internal storage. So once again, big props to Geekom for pushing along the front of these mini computers. So if you're looking for a super compact and super powerful mini computer, then this is it. Up to four monitors, Windows 11 straight out of the box, and it's also very power efficient. We will also go for another depressing round of Fortnite once more, and also a bit of sim racing to demonstrate the power of this little beast right there. So let's go. Got the new drip from Geekom, the Mini IT13 mini computer with the i7-13700H configuration. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box all wrapped up. Let's remove all of that. We have the top shiny letters looks amazing we have one side of the pc and the other one right there matte box with the shiny black letters look at that so nice and the same on the other side and this on the bottom with the specifications so it's the i7 version right there so let's open it up and there we go look at that so small so tiny yet so powerful let's remove that as well nice we have the foam spacer and right there Thank you letter. Oh, look at that. So nice. Another divider. And right here we have all the cables and all the accessories. And of course the brick, the bracket and the paperwork. So let's get to all the accessories and the manual. Let's start with the power brick. So we have all the specs on the back. Here the connector for the power cable, status LED on the front and a nice and long cable with a velcro strap included for the computer. There's a plug for it, the cable for the wall socket of course to power up the brick. Let's remove that as well. Nice long cable and we will also get an HDMI cable. So check it out. It's like half a meter right there. Regular HDMI cable. And we will also get a bracket for wall mounting or rather for monitor mounting the computer and all the screws for it. Let's get to the paperwork. So we have this awesome looking shiny thank you letter that's back right there. And inside we have this thank you letter and here we have the back. And now let's get to the manual. This will unfold just like that. So on the back we have multi-language safety precautions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here safety precautions in English. Nice manual. Let's fold it back up. So to recap, we will get the cables, the brick, the paperwork, and of course the bracket. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So check it out. Let's remove this. So we have this blue slash green version. What color is it? I don't know. It looks awesome though with the rubber feet and all of that. Just like the IT12, just a new CPU in here. So let's take a close look. We have the top with the brand. Nicely coated surfaces. Looks amazing. So we have this side for the SD card expansion slot. We have this side with a USB headphones and the on off button. This side right here, if you want to chain it up to a workstation, public workstation, something like that. And of course the back side with all the other ports, two times HDMI, USB-C for up to four monitors, ethernet, and of course for powering it. We also have potent cooling and on the bottom four nice rubber feet and the sticker with all the specs and check it out, super stable and also cushioned. So yeah, I can't wait to hook it up and play a few games on it. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up and then of course test it. 
So here we go, we are connected, we are all wired up. I have connected my keyboard as well as this mouse. We will go for a second screen in a bit. But first of all, let's blast through the setup. And there we go. So once again, Windows 11 straight out of the box. We just need to do the setup. And as I said in the last video, down here I have a tower PC you know, big fat gaming PC. And this little guy is literally as powerful as one of these huge towers of just a few years ago, which is quite incredible if you ask me. And let's do it. I will go through it rather fast. If you want a more detailed setup, check out the last video. In this one, I will focus more on the gaming. So check it out, I'm done with the setup. I cleaned up Windows quite a bit. It's looking very nice now. Dark mode and all of that good stuff looks dope. And I'm back with the wireless setup, wireless mouse, wireless keyboard. And as you can see, I have connected a second screen. This one right here is a 4K TV. And this one right here is a 2K monitor. And we're currently looking at a YouTube video in 4K, of course, just like the IT12. 4K video playback is no problem whatsoever. It is looking gorgeous and pretty much no impact on the performance. This mini computer is a beast. We have the 32 gigs of RAM, disk, Wi-Fi and GPU. Even the GPU has like 6% of load. So when they say the IT13 can handle 4 4K screens with ease, then I can totally believe that. Absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and by now I have already downloaded Fortnite. In the IT12 video I tested a few browser-based retro games but for this video I will focus more on Fortnite because I think it goes without saying that if this PC can handle Fortnite at decent settings then pretty much every retro game should be no problem whatsoever. All right, so let's wait for these updates to finish. And as we can see right now, the load on the CPU is ramping up to around 20% memory. And also the GPU is getting way more load in the 3D department right there. So let's go for a round of Fortnite. So a regular round of Battle Royale. Royale, let's go. All right, there we go, let's drop in. All right, let's go over there. Maybe like right there, no idea. Hmm. CPU is at 18% and GPU isn't looking too bad as you can see. So let's go. Nice. <sighs> okay. Still have no weapons. Oh no, oh no. <gasps> Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's heal up. Choose. Get that shield up. Let's go. And let's go. Nice weapons. Not too bad. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go over there. All right. Yeah, why not? Well, is it the same? But check it out, the graphics. Let me zoom in. The graphics are looking decent, to say the least. So where currently it's not even at 60%. And I'm so alone. Literally no one is around. That's that's a definitely a player right there. Oh no. I'm so dead. Oh my goodness, I did it! I did it! <laughs> That was so bad though. Oh my goodness, I can't play. Whoops. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! 1 HP gang. 
rip. 19, that's not too bad though. But yeah, as you saw, Fortnite is no problem for this little beast right there. And now I want to go for something different because look what I got. A racing wheel. No problem for the GPU. CPU is bored too. Superb power. For the next test, I actually wanted to test this wheel, but I can't get it to work. I'm missing the pedals, so I will just use the keyboard for it. This little PC is powerful enough to even play racing games, sim racing. So check this out. I have a Seto Corsa right there. Let's see how it will go. Let's just get straight into a game. So as you can see, we even have decent loading times. And yeah, let's let's do it. So yeah, as you can see, oh my goodness, we will get a decent experience for racing games as well. The CPU is working at 18%, but the GPU is getting pretty much maxed out with uh, this game right there. So all in all, definitely a massive thumbs up for the IT13, an extremely powerful machine. But also I have to say, I can't wait for Geekom to come out with microcomputers with dedicated GPUs. This would be yet another game changer. But for office tasks and stuff like that, perfect. It's even overpowered for just that. But yeah, amazing device right there. So as you saw, this little guy right here is intensely powerful. It can handle 4K screens, even 8K screens. Four of them in total, 4K video playback is no problem whatsoever. As you saw, it can handle all of that with ease. Even gaming in a fully lagless fashion. <laughs> Just awesome. So this is more than perfect for office tasks and it can fit the backside of any monitor or screen if you want to go for that invisible PC setup. Thanks to the newest Bluetooth 5.2, you can go fully wireless with a multitude of input devices and you will always have a super stable connection. And this of course also adds to the no PC look. So if you want to go that route, go for that minimalistic invisible wireless setup. This is perfect for just that. And other than that, you can also go fully mobile. So if you have highly sensitive data on your PC, well, then just bring it with you. That is the ultimate protection. 100% hacker and thief proof, super compact and portable. And as well as for all the other mini computers from Geekom, there are endless possibilities. You can put this inside of your car, mount it on a Beamer, use it as a home server pretty much anywhere, small enough for a bicycle or a scooter for that matter, or for your backpack. Oh my goodness, literally a mobile setup it is just so cool. Yeah, and as I said, of of course, it features the newest tech Wi-Fi 6, USB 4.0, two times HDMI 2.0, up to four monitors at the same time, 2.5 GBE LAN, high bandwidth, low latency, Windows 11, straight out of the box, for free, of course. But it can also handle Linux, Android, Fide OS, and other alternative operating systems with ease. And we also have the 13th generation of Intel processors in here, Raptor Lake, three versions, all the way up to i9 with 14 cores. So in here we have the 13700H configuration. This one can boost up the processor speed all the way up to 5 gigahertz. Just incredible. And on top of that we have the Intel Iris Xe with 96 EUs GPU in here, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, clocked at 3200 megahertz. And you can also extend it all the way up to 64 gigs. It can handle the standard PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSDs from 512 all the way up to a max capacity of two terabytes. Same goes for the SATA interface. It supports SSDs and HDDs with the 2.5 inches form factor all the way up to two terabytes and much, much more. So if you're interested, don't forget to check out our exclusive discount codes in the description. The IT13 is incredible to say the least. I can highly recommend it. And all in all, I would say that this little guy right here is a definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy it and I will see you soon.